golden opportunity after having just scored to tie this contest up. Newland Herzog to the far side. Score! Shot coming from the point. It was delivered by Olivia Zvar. Now, if it was tipped out in front, we don't know, but it doesn't really matter if you're a Husky fan. Your team with a couple of quick goals, both with extra attackers on the ice. Good chance here for the Huskies 2-0, and that's a goal by Savar. The Huskies tie it up with eight. There's Savar. Savar to Himlerova. Back to Savar. Savar is going to take a shot and score! St. Cloud State wins it in overtime, and they're going to have the State in their final game wins it in overtime. What an absolute laser, and that play all starts Olivia Savar takes a pass from Clara Himlerova. She's got Himlerova with depth coming down the ice. Here she's got she's got Himlerova above her, which means that she can drop the play to her. Now Himlerova has two options. She can either put the puck on net or give it back to that sharp angle shot. Savar takes it, makes no mistake, and what a rocket. For it with Olivia Savar. Savar on the puck right now. The base of Ander backhanded away. Shot by Savar from the slot, finds the back of the net, and it's now 6-2. So Olivia Savar scoring her ninth goal of the season. That top line has accounted for both of the St. Cloud goals in this one. And uh... We're talking about the young players for St. Cloud State. Olivia Savar, just a freshman from Stonewall, Manitoba. Usney in over the net. Prime opportunity there for Olivia Sori to score her first goal of the year. Here come the Huskies the other way. It's Savar again, and she cuts the lead in half. It's now 6-3. to three. How about that, Olivia Savar, the freshman, two goals in a span of about 25, 30 seconds, and all of a sudden, and then gets it right back, puck in the crease, and Larova tries to dump it off, and then a shot, and the Huskies score, and that's Savar, the freshman puts it in from the circle, and the Huskies tie this game right back up.
score remains 1-0. As Savard now controls it down the left side. She's looking to backhand it. Tough stops it, but that one trickles in. Part of the pipe. And another kick save, but not enough. Too strong from Olivia Savard. to Savar. She's got the handles to take it herself. She does the high wrister and ties it up. Olivia Savar from distance. A beautiful wrist shot that John through these Ridley College defenders. And she uses the screen John. Nice pass. Back door. Nice move and goal. Pass. Cross ice, opens his car, steps in with the shot, and over the right. I believe that's Savar. Savar now carrying, skating, finding a good spot, gets to the slot, takes a deflection, and goes in. Looking for Savar in the slot now, does by Savar, she scores! Olivia Savar with a wrist shot from the high slot. Puck, we up goes back behind the net of McClellan. Misplay there in front to Bowman. Change on the fly. Car, all sorts of moves into the slot, wrist, and she scores! What a beautiful solo effort by M now Lorenzo can't hold it on that near side wall, and Car will break out with Bohm. Two on three, long slapper, and what a shot from Olivia Car! The right wing deals it off for number 14 bar throws it on goal save rebound scores Speed up for coward goes cross ice it is broken up coward recovers it takes a shot block follow-up chance on the goal mouth scores and olivia savar makes it two nothing Var digs it free, comes down the left side, takes the shot, scores! For a power play goal at five. Var in the high slot, deals it off. McCallum, a shot. <laughs> Coming in with some speed. McCallum chasing with her, and Kavar asking for it. Kavar, shoot, scores! Adding to her point totals for Manitoba and breaking the stalemate here. Kavar makes it one to nothing. Manitoba. It's a fantastic play, but like you said, we drew on top of that one. Not that one, though. Ed. Kavar from the point. I believe she got that one five hole. There was traffic in front. Not sure Boudreaux really saw it coming. Out of the net, Miss Wagon able to stop that clearing attempt. Cross ice to Kavar. She fires it, scores. Not sure if it got tipped, I don't think so. So that's gonna be a hat trick for Olivia Carr. Two on the power play. And just a minute 10 remaining here in the penalty. Kavar receives the pass again and oh, bar down Kavar. Her fourth goal of the game and a hat trick on the power play. Unbelievable. Goaltending's been very good, but their offense has been terrific as well. Led by Olivia Savar. Four goals in three games so far in the event. Yeah, pretty impressive stats for someone to be playing in such a short-term short event. Um, she's a third-year forward on Team Manitoba, so someone who's hev heavily relied on for offense. She has a great shot. Going to be a key player tonight in this game. Another top ten. Oh.
Olivia, a good period for your team, but three power plays, you weren't able to capitalize, even though you had a amount of good pressure. So what didn't work, I guess, for that power play? Um, I guess sometimes we just try to force a play when it's not really there, but I think we just have to slow stuff down and just play our game because our power play has been working all the other games, so just got to slow it down. It's been an excellent tournament for you offensively so far. What's been the key to success? Um, probably just shooting, shooting from all angles. I know some girls have a hard time with that, but it seems to work to my benefit, so I use it. You're in a quarterfinal action here now. What's the rest of the week been like for you at this Canada Games experience? It's been awesome. This is my third time with Team Manitoba, so just enjoying time with the girls and making memories and new friends. And the, the environment in Red Deer is awesome, and people are just so kind, so it's really nice. Olivia, thanks for this, and best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you so much.